Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Last year, we released the SparkFun Artemis module, an Apollo 3 MCU with a low-power BLE ARM Cortex M4F processor. And while it's possible to program it using the Arduino IDE, our impetus for creating it went so much further than that. Uh, yes, we wanted it to be accessible to engineers, hobbyists, and developers at every level, but our real focus was the advanced user. And now, with them in mind, we're introducing two new kits, the SparkFun Artemis Dev Kit and the SparkFun Artemis Dev Kit with camera. The Artemis Development Kit is designed for those who want to get the most out of their Artemis module, the world's first open source, US manufactured BLE module with FCC, IC, and CE certifications. The Artemis module runs a powerful Apollo 3 ARM Cortex M4F MCU sporting BLE 5.0 running at 48 MHz with an available 96 MHz turbo mode and power as low as 6 mA per MHz. That's less than 5 mW. It offers 24 breakout I.O. pins with 8 14-bit ADC pins, 18 16-bit PWM pins, 2 independent UART ports, and 3 peripheral I2C and SPI buses. All of the Artemis development kit pins are broken out to 0.1-inch spaced female headers. There are also two rows of breakout pins with 0.1-inch pitch spacing for headers and a 0.8-inch pitch spacing to clip on IC hooks used by most logic analyzers. And in the silk on the back of the board, we have a cheat sheet to remind you of every pin's functionality. This board takes 5 volts provided through the USB-C connector and offers regulated outputs of 1.8, 3.3, and 5 volts through the power header. The updated USB connection uses an ARM Cortex M0 Plus MCU connected to the software debug, reset, and UART pins of the Artemis module, and the firmware enables the board to enumerate as a composite USB device when connected to a computer. This will allow the board to act as a mass storage device, a communications device class, or a web USB human interface device. The board also has an onboard 3-axis accelerometer, a PDM microphone, a camera connector for the HiMax HM01B0 camera, and a quick connector on the primary I2C bus. If you want to add an always-on camera for computer vision applications such as gesture recognition, intelligent light sensing, and object tracking and identification, then you'll want to go with the Artemis development kit with camera. This kit simply adds the HiMax CMOS imaging camera, a high-sensitivity, ultra-low-power image sensor. This is the same camera we use with the SparkFun Edge development board. It has an active pixel resolution of 320 by 320 with support for QVGA window, vertical flip, and a horizontal mirror readout. It offers automatic exposure and gain control loop with support for 50 and 60 Hz flicker avoidance. Plus, you can program black level calibration target, frame size, frame rate, exposure, analog gain up to 8x, and digital gain up to 4x to best suit your design needs. I mentioned BLE. Now, for those of you who've already started working with Artemis, you'll be happy to know that BLE 5.0 is now fully functional. If you have an existing board, all you'll have to do is reflash and Bob's your uncle. Now, I will warn you that this board is not geared towards the beginner. Rather, it's for those who want to take a single module from initial design concept all the way to final production. And while we have updated the Arduino core, the real power of this board comes in the fact that you can use a much more advanced programmer, like ARM Embed OS or Ambic SDK. Our hookup guide will walk you through the beginnings of this, and while it is not brief, it is thorough. So if you're ready to really dig in and rapidly increase your knowledge base, coding skills, and scalable project design, take a look at the SparkFun Artemis Development Kit and Development Kit with Camera. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com, and as always, be kind, stay safe, and happy hacking! Yes. No. Is this board easy to use? No. Is it rewarding? Yes. <laughs>